Welcome to PH Red TV. In this video we will discuss a short overview about IV therapy. But before we continue, please subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell icon to keep you updated on my future uploads. Intravenous or IV therapy is a common procedure, with over 90% of hospitalized patients receiving an IV fluid as a part of care. The intravenous therapy is the delivery of fluids, blood, or medication directly into a patient's system through the veins, making IV therapy incredibly effective for patients with a need for rapid delivery of drugs or other IV fluids. The IV technology was first published in 1883 by Dr. Thomas Latta during a cholera epidemic in Great Britain. The standard IV use of saline solutions did not begin until 1902 and was further developed in the 1930s but was not widely available until the 1950s. Several reasons you may need an IV include dehydration, surgery, malnutrition or nutrient replacement, medication administration and emergency situations. IV therapy for dehydration. Roughly 60% of the human body consists of water. We routinely lose water when we breathe, sweat, urinate, or physically exert ourselves. Factors like spending time outdoors, high temperatures, drinking alcohol, or playing sports cause us to lose more water, increasing the risk of dehydration. Though not everyone who is dehydrated needs to seek medical treatment for an IV, healthcare providers typically use IV therapy to treat someone in the advanced stages of dehydration who needs fluids replaced immediately, like patients who are fainting or experiencing symptoms of heat stroke. Having an IV during surgery, every year, millions of healthcare providers perform inpatient and outpatient surgical procedures and intravenous therapy is a key component to surgical procedures. Doctors and nurses use IV therapy to administer anesthesia, pain medications, antibiotics, fluids, and other vital fluids. During surgery, having an IV in place allows providers to deliver emergency drugs quickly and efficiently when they are needed. IV fluids help maintain a patient's hydration, electrolyte and blood sugar levels while undergoing surgical procedures. Clinicians are also able to administer IV fluids directly into a patient's bloodstream. As it is common for a patient's body temperature to decrease slowly while sedated, anesthesia personnel utilize the IV to infuse needed drugs to keep the patient asleep and safe during the procedure. IV Therapy for Malnutrition Partial and total parenteral nutrition or TPN are methods of feeding, which supplies some or all of a patient's daily nutritional requirements through an IV. Parenteral nutrition can help patients who are unable to meet their nutritional requirements through oral intake alone. This includes patients that do not have a properly functioning gastrointestinal tract or have disorders requiring total bowel rest, including short bowel syndrome. Patients who are severely impacted by eating disorders or patients who suffer from dysphagia or difficulty swallowing may also experience malnutrition. Medication Administration Through IV Therapy most times, patients' medications can be taken by mouth or topically. In some situations, the best or only route is through the vein. IV administration would be the preferred route for many chemotherapy regimens. These infusions can take place in the hospital, in an outpatient setting or at home. IV therapy for emergency medication. In emergency situations, the immediate administering of IV therapy is necessary to combat patients' dire conditions. Some situations in which a patient may receive emergency medication, blood or fluids through intravenous therapy include heart attack, stroke, trauma, excessive bleeding or loss of fluids, overdose, poisoning, anaphylaxis, a severe allergic reaction, sedation to administer emergency treatment. To end our topic, here's our key ideas for this video. When fluid is lost for any reason, electrolytes become imbalance, body systems are stress, and cognitive function in the brain is impaired. Blood becomes concentrated, signaling the kidneys to retain the water. As a result, urine output is decreased. 
when the blood is thicker, the heart has to work harder, causing the pulse to increase in order to maintain blood pressure. All of these compensatory actions by the body put an already compromised patient risk. Replacement of fluids intravenously resolves imbalance and restores normal body function, which IV solution to administer is related to the reason for the fluid lost. Those are just some of the reasons that patients might need an IV therapy. That's all for today, I hope you learned something new in today's topic. Thank you for stay tuning in, see you again soon here at PHRED TV.